And the sparks have started to fly after the recent huge news that hit golf uh, sometime yesterday as the PGA Tour and the DP World Tour announced a merger with uh, Saudi Arabian banks uh, circuit Live Golf in a deal that ends the acrimony split in the game. It means pending litigation between the tours will be halted and they will move forward as part of the same uh, enterprise. Uh, meanwhile, PGA Tour chief uh, Jay Manahan has uh, faced calls to resign at an intense and heated players' meeting following this shock merger with Live Golf. Several players left the American PGA Tour and the European-based DP World Tour to join the Saudi-backed Live circuit when it launched last year. Monaghan had previously said anyone who joined Live would not be welcome back on the PGA Tour. Conversations have, um, have gone on really over the last seven weeks. Um, there were four in-person meetings and, you know, a number, number of video calls and phone conversations, but it was really over a seven-week time frame. And, you know, the direct answer to, the direct answer to your question is, um, you know, when you get into these conversations and given the complexity of what we were dealing with, um, it's not uncommon that the, the circle of information is very tight. And so, you know, in, in our case, we, we kept that information very tight. There, I think on the, on the first one, I would describe the meeting as uh, intense, uh, certainly heated. This is a very complex, obviously it's a very, it's been a very dynamic and a complex couple of years. Um, and for players, I'm not surprised that, you know, this is an awful lot to ask them to digest. And, and this is a significant change for us, you know, in the direction that we were going down. But as I'm trying to explain, and I will continue to explain uh, as we go forward, this ultimately is a decision that 